What's up, you guys? It's your girl, April. So, literally, today has been, like, a very trying day. Like, seriously, I'm not really sure if I want to do a video today or just bypass it. So, I decided I'm going to do it because it's Tuesday. So, of course, I do have on my bonnet and... We looking rather cute because like I said, it has been a really trying morning. I don't even really want to get into all of that. Maybe I should have like put on one of my cute little head wraps and called it a morning. So I think that's what I'm going to do really quick. Okay, so I'm feeling a little bit better, a little bit more fashionable. I don't know about my attitude, but you know what? We're going to work through this. So this is basically just trying out some really new cheap makeup. Like listen... I love to do makeup videos. I'm not a pro. I'm not a beauty guru. I'm not a professional. I'm not any of that. I just do the makeup according to how I like to do it. If you have a beauty supply store in your local area, I'm not talking about like Sally's beauty supply store. Um, that's like a really nice beauty supply store too, but it's a little bit not of what I'm geared to. Like I really can't find everything that I want there. Maybe like a few things, but not everything. Definitely not makeup related but at your local beauty supply store in like the hoods you can find like an amazing variety of all types of stuff from hair care products to hair to inexpensive makeup products now you know a girl is super duper cheap i love makeup i was able to find some new products at my local beauty supply store you know a girl did go there for some styling gel and i did come across some new beauty supply makeup okay now first of all before we even get to that I wanted to try out this a new sleek hair gel now for one I love hair gel I like anything that will hold your hair in place let it be hairspray hair gel hair mousse I'm all for all kind of hair products you know what I'm saying so I've seen this and they had this kind of like on display on like the countertop so I was like okay First touchdown. My first thing I thought about was like, you know, football season, whatever. So I was like, all right, let me let me try this. Okay, because for one, the one thing that caught my eye was the side where it says playa, not player, playa. I was like, okay, playa. We about to try this out. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna see how this works. But then it was like first touchdown, edge tamer, ultimate touch, non-flaky, tame frizz, holding up to 24 hours. I mean, I don't really need it to hold up to 24 hours, but if it do, then hey boo. Okay, I'm happy. But it also had like tea tree oil, argon oil, delicious, delicious vitamin scent, all of that good use for professional salon use. Now, I'm not a salon and I'm not a professional, but I'm going to tell you something. A girl do like her edges to be slicked down. It's more or less like a pomade, okay? So, it does take a lot for my hair to kind of like hold down. But the one thing that I do like about this, because I did use it, it gives me like that pomade feeling. Um, I do like other hair gels, but some of them are kind of like wet. So, it takes me a little bit longer to kind of like style them. So, I was able to do like a really cool sleek style with this. So, it's more or less kind of like it is thick. Not thick like um, it's more or less like a pomade style, but it gives you like a really good hold. So, that was the one thing that I liked about it. Now, mind you... You guys know, if you have seen my recent video, I do use, like, two different hair gels to, um, just to hold my hairstyle down or just to slick my edges down. I only use this one today and yesterday and the day before that. And let me tell y'all something. It does hold 24 hours. It doesn't hold, like, three days, like, normally I would you know, like do my edges, but it doesn't flake up, okay? It doesn't get like gritty, which is cool. I like it when it doesn't flake up and I like it when it doesn't get gritty. But um, what I did notice was it gave me more or less like a easier spread. So like I can kind of like spread the hairs a lot easier because it like, it wasn't like wet, wet. It was more or less like just like a, a pomade, like a moisturized feeling. I did add a tiny bit of a, um, another gel on top of it in the evening when it was time to go to bed because I really hate to do like my baby hairs or my edges over the next day. I like, that's the one thing that I dread, like putting on lashes is the same thing. So I did slick a little bit of extra pomade on top of it. But other than that, it like holds. Now, you know, out here it gets really, really super hot. So it did hold. It didn't flake up and it didn't um, 
you know, it didn't grit up. Like, you know what I'm saying? Wet. Like, some hair gels get, like, really wet, and I can't stand it. And that's the reason why I have to use two gels. I don't like to wash my hair a lot, and I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one. So if I can find a product that doesn't grit up and get my hair dried out and all sticky and nasty feeling, then I would definitely try it. Um, And that's what it did for me. It's an edge tamer. It has, like, a really low scent. So, yes, it's called Touchdown Edge Tamer. It just reminded me of, like, football when I seen Touchdown. And then when I was like, play ya, I was like, all right, play ya. So, let me tell you, I put the little bit of makeup that I did buy from the beauty supply store in here. These are really inexpensive. We're about to try these out. So, this concealer here, I bought, like, only four of them because I wasn't trying to be, like, going crazy. Did get the yellow color. And this is by the company called Black pink black pink and this is the ultra hd cream concealer this is the yellow concealer medium beige and for like my contour i did get this one which is called peachy cream now i'm not really sure why they called it peachy cream because it's more like a brown color and then i also did get this one which is the highlighter so you know you could probably bring out your highlight honey we about to try this out and as far as the lipsticks like so of course you know this is about to be one of my favorites okay so i did wear this one i already got my little beauty blender sponge here so first thing we're gonna try out is this yellow concealer so you get a nice amount you get 0.29 fluid ounces and it has a little brush right here or she want to get it out okay there we go and i don't like a lot of makeup because if you put a lot of makeup on your face girl you will have like cake face and for me i noticed my skin is a little bit older than most so i really don't like like a whole lot of makeup on my face at one time because it kind of makes my face look dried out and then with me i do notice when i have too much makeup on um because if i cannot see my freckles in person or they are really concealed then that means i got on too much Okay, so it brightened it up. I used the yellow to brighten up a little bit. I'm going to put a little bit more because I always go a little bit at a time. I don't like to add too much at one time because, honey, listen. Now we're going to add some right there. And then for this peachy cream. I don't really cream contour too much, so... So the product is lightweight um, and a little bit goes a long way as you can see here. You don't need a lot. So as you can see, it's a little bit lightly contoured. Of course, you can go in and go heavy with it. And that's what I'll do. I like to just do a little bit at a time because at least if you do a little bit at a time, then hey you're not really making a mistake if you put a whole lot on at one time girl you might have to remove your whole face and i'm not with all of that so mm -mm. now i got a little bit thicker i might have went too heavy I'm about to see i'm gonna try it differently i really like a beauty blender but mm. you're gonna try this brush out honey I like the way it goes on smooth for one and it doesn't dry really quick so this is what it's like when I use my um, Real Techniques brush now this here is which one was this this is the medium beige now I already put the yellow on we about to see how this go through because this I think might be a little bit too um, close to my skin complexion but it's pretty though. I like the creaminess of the consistency of it, okay? And this one is not as watery. Um, it's a little bit thicker in my opinion versus the LA Girl. Which will allow it to dry more. But this is like a pretty color though. Okay, so you know something about this one? versus the LA girl it goes on to me a lot smoother you know what I'm saying it gives you a more flawless finish 
Now, I just noticed that because when I use my Medium Beige by LA Girl, the, I like that one just as much, don't get me wrong, but I have to put it on a couple more times and it gives me more or less like a blotchy um, look. So that's the reason why I brought this because when I use like my LA Girl one, I have to kind of like kind of like buff it in a little bit but with this one it gives you more of a kind of like smooth look but for the most part this medium beige is really really nice I like the way it came out now for me like I said I don't really cream contour a lot so I, I kind of like to do like a little bit of the powdery contour so I'm gonna just take a little bit of my powdery contour and cream contour is really good though too to use as a base for your um powder contour y'all's honey y'all's okay so the one thing the one thing that I really really was interested in trying is this the highlighter okay so a lot of people use it under their entire eyes I'm not going for all of that I'm only going to use it where I use my highlight which is very sparingly and this is like a white color so I used this on the back of my hand the other day and I do have like two other products by different companies that are very similar to this they're the exact same thing um, but I wanted to try this one out because both of the ones that I have they work just as well and they work just as nice so I wanted to try something that was just beauty supply store I know a lot of people we do like to order things in the mail but sometimes we just can't wait so that's why I was like let me try this out because if I can go to the local hood beauty supply store girl a girl is about to be on fleek for cheap okay so I'm just gonna take this and you don't want a lot unless you really want your highlight to stand out and you could just use this alone but let me tell y'all I don't use this alone I basically use this as my base for my natural highlight or my, my powder highlight because this stuff will make your powder highlight really like stand out so definitely now that's what it looks like if you're just using it alone and now you see it like that and it just kind of like intensifies it okay All right, all right, all right, all right. Now for the lipsticks. Y'all know I am just like a, uh, I stay with the same color schemes. So this one is their High Shine Lip Gloss, okay? And the color that I have is a princess pink. Y'all know I love pinks. So I'm just going to swatch the back of them. Like I said, it's a lip gloss. For those who like to have the lip gloss on, then hey, this is the Velveteen Matte Lipstick. This one is the Midnight Purple. I'm not really into like these dark colors. I don't know. I can never like put them on. But hey, it was cheap. I said I'm going to get it, swatch it, and pass it along. This is another Velveteen. And this one, of course, you guys already know is me. Now, the name of it is Baby Violet. But it's more or less like that pink color. But there you have it right there. This is the Honey Butter one. And this is called Antique Rose. Look at that color. It's really pretty. It's not a matte color. So if you're looking for matte, that's not it. It's called Sienna. Look at that. That's why I really swatch it, okay? So these are like really pretty fall colors. Like I said, I saved the best for last because you know a girl stick to her always time zone. And this is the Latte. And this is the Long Wear Liquid Lipstick. So, it smells really good. It goes on super smooth and soft. And it just is really, really non-drying to the lips. I like stuff that's non-drying. Stay in the same color zone. I don't know why, but listen, I guess I'm comfortable with that. And it just always looks good with my skin complexiones. So, yes, definitely check them out. Like I said, they're at your beauty supply stores. Um, That's where I found them. So definitely check them out. And girls, if you are looking to tame your edges down, look at that. Mm, definitely check out this touchdown. So, yes, I love trying out new stuff. I will post their name below. I can't post the um, link because these are just available at the beauty supply store. But you know, if you want a budget and you want to look cute, definitely check it out.